Shalom everybody. Good to see you again and I hope you are blessed with our previous uh, sessions and uh, we have done three so far. This is the fourth one tonight and uh, I hope that you are going to be blessed and uh, all these sessions are meant to be uh, practical and for you to practice them and for you to recognize that uh, God is real and for you to recognize that he is a God that uh, blesses you and uh, as you walk in faith because the book of Hebrews says that uh, without faith it is impossible to please him and I believe that uh, these sessions are going to help you to uh, walk in faith and also uh, put into practice uh, what faith uh, is according to the word of God. Right? So let's go on to tonight's session. Uh, the title of this session tonight is Faith and the Will of God. I repeat, Faith and the Will of God. Uh, it focuses on the will of God and how the will of God uh, relates with the faith that you're going to practice. Uh, faith is not just simply a feeling, but it is a action uh, that requires your heart and mind it also requires uh, your spiritual zeal as well as your relationship uh, with God. Uh, without relationship with God, that faith is uh, nothing. Uh, so the definition of the will that we are talking about tonight is uh, five uh, different meanings. Number one, uh, the will that one wishes or has determined shall be done, which means that it is your will. Uh, what you wish and what you want uh, it to be determined to be done. And number two is the purpose of God uh, to bless mankind through Christ. That's also the will of God. There is a will that comes from God, which is the purpose of God. And number three, uh, there is a will that, that God wishes to be done by us. He wants us to walk in that will and do those things that uh, has to be done. For example, love one another and love others uh, and as well as also to pray. Uh, those are his wishes, his will uh, towards us. <clears throat> the fourth is the commands or the precepts that is uh, detailed in the word. The commands, the precepts, example, the Ten Commandments and the precepts are the word that comes forth out of the uh, uh, the, uh, reception, the perception, the, the broadcast of the Holy Spirit to you uh, through the Word. So when you read the Word of God, there are things that you have to you know, do and uh, follow those instructions through those precepts. Number five is the, your will, uh, your choice, your inclination, your desire and your pleasure. So you, you will notice that uh, all these five have uh, uh, different uh, uh, what do you call, role to play in your life. And when you look at the will of God, uh, you will notice that God wants you to walk with Him in the will as well as also to have the right kind of will uh, working within you that will help you to pray in faith or walk by faith uh, in Christ Jesus with your Lord and Savior. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 10, Jesus uh, taught the disciples to pray. So in the prayer, he mentioned this, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. What does this mean? It means that there is a desire, a purpose of God that we need to first of all uh, focus upon that our faith must be in line with thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. I have mentioned to you earlier in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 which, which is the main text uh, for these studies, if you study that whole chapter, all uh, the persons that are mentioned in that Hebrews chapter 11 
were people who actually uh, faithfully followed God and fulfilled the purpose of God in their lives and fulfilled the purpose of God upon the earth which means that they have left something behind in their life span uh, to establish the kingdom of God and at the same time they have established their families and their own lives and they have uh, uh, you know followed the desires of God and established the will of God on the earth now this is because of the communication they had with God and God had communication with them and in that communication they were partners uh, of the will of God and the kingdom of God so likewise as all of them performed their faith according to the will of God according to the kingdom of God likewise the same thing has to happen with us the faith cannot be on its own and the faith cannot take off on its own on its own desire on its own uh, vision it has to be in line with what God has planned for you and uh, and uh, you are here upon this earth your existence in upon this earth is first of all the primary will the first will so before you think about any other will in your life look at yourself that you were brought upon this earth as a primary will it is a will of god that you are here so therefore your life and your journey has multitudes of secondary wills that you have to step into the walk of willingness with him so which which means that first of all you are the will of god and uh, second secondly uh, there are going to be many wills that you are going to be uh, faced with and uh, some of them the wills are driven from your desires but uh, it has to be in line with the will of god which is uh, who is your wife or who is your husband or what job or what career or what ministry you're going to do and what are the specifics of your walk in life all those comes into the category of god's will and purpose in your life now romans 12:2 2 uh, this is the solution in which you are going to find yourself tuned in to the will of god be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the that good and acceptable and perfect will of god so renewing the mind and being transformed helps you to be focused upon the will of god uh, in your prayers in, in your faith activation which is whatever you pray for whatever you have in faith for it must be in line with the perfect will of god and that comes only when your mind is renewed uh, uh, so that you are not clouded with uh, uncertainties and uh, you know the intentions of god by listening to the uh, secret uh, desires of god uh, for you and uh, book of deuteronomy 29 29 says the secret things belong to the lord our god but the things that are revealed to us uh, but the things that are revealed belong to us which is god has secret things and god has his will and the things that has to be revealed to you will be revealed to you in time for you to step into and that is the reason why your connection with him is of importance so uh, romans 12:2 is god's will of command and and uh, not his will of, of decree uh, which is that uh, which says that by testing you may discern the whole verse says that by testing you may discern that you may prove what is that good and acceptable which is that it comes back to you your heart and mind must discern the will of god and for that to happen your mind has to be in line with and renewed in in line with godly thinking and kingdom thinking now uh i hope you understand this which is that those who have their powers discern uh, discernment trained the powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish between good and evil uh 
those are the people who will step into the perfect will of God and whatsoever they pray by faith in the perfect will of God you are going to find yourself uh, successful and victorious because you're in line with the will of God uh, as the Lord will stir your heart and mind into his will which is which is which means that your desires can be uh, steered can be monitored can be navigated uh, according to the will of God so for that to take place you have to renew your mind now lastly i share with you a scripture verse in isaiah 1 and 19 if you be willing and obedient you shall eat the good of that land so constantly and consistently as you walk with him in willingness and obedience you will prosper you will be blessed so remember uh, that you are your existence is the primary will of god and that your life journey has multitudes of secondary wills that you have to step into the walk with him in willingness and obedience may the lord bless you and may the lord prosper you and uh, i hope that you will practice this god bless you